friends we are going to discuss a new topic today that is relations before we go to relations let us do a small recap on the basic concepts that we are going to use in this chapter first and foremost we use a topic called cartesian product let us consider two sets set a and set b here my set a is an input set and set b is my output set so what is this cartesian product cartesian product is every element of a is map with every element of b that is let me take example 1 2 a b c so now in set a in my input set a i have got 1 and 2 as elements and in my output set b i have got a b and c as three elements now according to cartesian product what it says every element of a is mapped with every element of b means every element of a means let us take the first element of a is mapped with every element of b that is one is mapped with a one is mapped with b and one is mapped with c so so one is mapped with a one is mapped with b one is mapped with c now 2 is mapped with a 2 is mapped with b 2 is mapped with c this is our cartesian product so we have to write this mathematically let us write mathematically mathematically a cross b is equal to ordered pair x comma y such that x belongs to a and y belongs to b so when we write here a comma b sorry a cross b our order our cartesian product will be 1 comma a 1 comma b 1 comma c 2 comma a 2 comma b 2 comma c so we all understood what exactly is a cartesian product now let us go a little further relation any subset of cartesian product a cross b is said as relation r from a to b sir any subset of cartesian product a cross b is said as relation we know what is subset for example let us take a set x is equal to 1 2 and 3 now the possible subsets of is this one null set 
2 3 then 1 2 1 3 you can keep on writing so this will be one subset 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 so this is we already learned in our uh, class 11 and high school etc so same thing we are using it here any subset of cartesian product is called relation for example here relation r if we say is equal to i, can, I take 1 comma a 1 comma c comma 2 comma b 3 comma a so this is my relation r so this becomes one relation i can write one more relation with the same thing 1 comma a 2 comma b 3 comma c so here there is one more relation so relation is nothing but any subset of a cartesian product is called a relation in relation one input can have multiple output what exactly means see here 1 2 a b c my input is 1 and my output is 1 a 1 b 1 c so for one input i am getting three outputs so 1 comma a 1 comma b 1 comma c so in relation one input can have more multiple output secondly in relation input should always be from set a and output should always be from set b so our input should be always from set a and our output should be always from set b and thirdly this we will be using further a relation on set a is the cartesian product of a cross a so what exactly is this i'll explain with an example so let us take set a is equal to 1 2 3 so our cartesian product is a cross a so a a 1 2 3 1 2 3 so 1 2 3 therefore our a cross a will be or a cross a will be 1 comma 1 1 comma 2 1 comma 3 2 comma 1 2 comma 2 2 comma 3 3 comma 1 3 comma 2 3 comma 3 and a relation on a when we say relation on a the cartesian product is a cross a so any subset of a cross a will become a relation on a please kindly note because when we study types of relations we will be using this particular concept of relation on a so when we say relation on a it is nothing but a subset of Cartesian product A cross A. Any subset of Cartesian product A cross A is called relation on set A. Dear friends, today we discussed mainly on what is Cartesian product, 
what a relation is and what are the few features of relation and what a relation on set A is.